Hi, thanks for joining me today. Today is the 26th, so it's time for another 6x6 six six on the 6. And today I am using the Crepe Paper Maggie Holmes Flea Market 6x6 six six paper pad and also um, her sticker sheet that I had along with um, some Fancy Pants Alphas. So the layout is for my travel album. As you all know, I've been trying to work on it. And I had seen a layout that Christina Sorge had made. And I don't know if she has it actually posted on social media. It was in one of our groups where she was um, showing some of her layouts that she had done as examples. And I really liked how she did this. So it's my takeoff of what she had done. Um, and again, I didn't have anything to go by, but the element that she had at the bottom is what inspired me to make the layouts. I don't know how much of mine really looks like hers in the end, but this is where my jumping off point came. So I picked out four different papers from the paper pad, and I'm cutting a um, two one-inch strips, and then I'm cutting those in half, so I will have, um, they'll end up being uh, four of each color or pattern and they'll be one by three inch strips. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm clearing off my table to get ready for the mess. I am taking my stamping up distressing tool and I'm gonna rough up the edges on all of these pieces of paper. Um, Christina's been um, doing this a lot on her layouts and it's motivated me to go back into my stash and get out this tool that I used to use all the time and so I've um, the last few layouts I've made I've um, added some distressing and it just gives it another little bit of texture on your layout and kind of raises it up a little bit so I really liked how that looked so it's it goes rather quickly my whole layout only took me about 30 35 minutes to make and I've speed this up four times so you'll find that this really is a, a quite simple layout to make. And you can go further with the embellishments than what I did. Um, I'm just trying to get some in the layout. And so in this one, I wasn't really motivated today to make the layout. So I didn't add enamel dots. I didn't add some of the extras, but it's okay. I like how it turns out in the end. It's just um, a simple one, but you can definitely take this layout and this idea and take it up a notch as well. So I took the two photos that I have. These are of the train conductor on the 1880s train that is in South Dakota and I matted it on some vellum that I've had in my stash and trying to use up. And um, I'm just going to use that like center it right in the middle kind of. Actually I end up moving it to the right. And right now what I'm doing is, is I'm taking all of these roughed up edges and I'm just going to make kind of a brick pattern in the bottom. And I'm just, I tried going and keeping the same pattern on each of the lines, but then I was doubling up on some of them. Um, and I tried to avoid having like one pattern next to another or on top of another. There's a couple that have a little bit, but not enough to make a big difference and it spreads the color out. The other thing I tried to do is I have two pattern papers that one, they're both navy backed, but one's dotted and one's diagonal stripes. And so they, they do look different on the page, but they pull in the navy. And then the other two, one is floral and one is just a geometric design, but it brings out that teal green color. And so it, when you look at the bottom, when you, we get the close-up, you'll see that it spread that color out evenly across the bottom. And then again, when it, with it bumped up, it kind of looks cool. So I decided I wanted to bring those pattern papers to the top of the page. And since this is a 6x6 six six pad, I don't have big paid pieces that I can mat a double picture background or photo mat. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting off a hunk of each of the pattern papers at different lengths. I'm ripping the ends because I don't want any straight ends. And then I'm taking the distress tool again and I am 
roughing up just the top edge because the other ones are going to be tucked in under the photo mat. And so again, I bring that texture and all those colors to the top of the page. I had already put my um, title down of All Aboard, which I thought was appropriate since this is the train conductor. And now I'm going through the market day um, sticker sheet that I had. And I don't think I had used it at all. If not, it like only one or two. So I was happy to get this out and get it used. So I took a couple of the labels and I stacked them over on the left hand side of the picture to build up my first cluster and I grabbed the arrow that said hello because I figure the conductor always greets you when you get on the train and then I took some more of those and I came off of that all aboard because I didn't want it as like empty space up there and so I built it like banners coming down and because they were so far to the right with the picture it felt like I had a gap so I grabbed that floral which again those florals are in the pattern paper and on the hello tag so I brought that up to the by the title and now I'm just building up over here on the top right hand side and I'm I have um, like a manila folders that are have the closed sides and I have them all by category so I just grabbed out my travel stickers that I have basically for the US and I went through to see if I could find anything I could put on here so I did find this little camera and an old um, like a camera film like you'd see for 35 millimeter and I'm going to put that on the upper corner I found another um, it looks white right now but it's a wood grain um, uh, just a word that says sightseeing on it. And then I'm going through, I find this star that says we are here, which I thought was appropriate for, you know, the travel part of it. And then the last thing I'm going to find is um, a sticker that says all aboard. And I'm going to put that in the bottom cluster with the labels and the hello. Oh, and then there was a the memories. I'm not loving that top cluster. I don't like how it looks. It just, it doesn't look right. So I end up going and turning it. And you'll see me do that in a minute. And then it makes more sense. Part of what I don't like is that heavy pink in the center. And by turning it and rotating it to the side, it brings that um, sticker more to the bottom where the weight is, even though it's still in the middle it seems to like ground that the rest of it and then I'm able to build a cluster on top of it and it doesn't look wrong to my eyes it looks like I'm now underlining the title so I found my um, Maggie Holmes bow that I had um, that I um, wanted to include in here and I'm going to fit that in and that's going to be it for my layout I will glue everything down off camera and then I'm going to go ahead and take some close-ups for you now, Christina Sorge had sewn through her blocks of paper at the bottom, so again, if you wanted to add another touch, that would be something else that you could add um, and include the um, sewing on here. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Please give me a like and subscribe, and you have a great day, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.